Cubase is able to work with a number of different kinds of video format. Now there are many different types of digital video format depending on what platform you're on and what kind of material you're working with. If you're dealing with footage from a digital video camera that you've shot yourself or from your phone, it's likely to be a certain kind of format. If you've been sent files from somewhere else, maybe from a professional shoot, it might be, again, a different kind of format. So it's worth understanding exactly what you can and can't work with. There are basically two ways to figure out if Cubase is going to be able to play back a certain video file. If you're able to open the video file with QuickTime 7.1 or higher, then you should be fine. Cubase uses QuickTime as its framework for playing back video files. And of course, QuickTime is available for free on the Mac and on PC. You're also able to look at the file information of a video file in the pool. So if I look in the pool here, here's my video. And you can see there are lots of different fields. If I look at the type here, it tells me it's a QuickTime video file. The fact that it's let me import it in the first place means it is a supported video. If you're not able to import a video in any particular format, then you'll need to convert it, which is something we'll look at shortly. There are various different multimedia file container types. Now, a video file is not just a video file. It can be a container which contains video streams and audio streams, sometimes multiple streams like surround and things like subtitles as well. Now, those are less important for working in Cubase. That's something you might concern yourself with more if you were actually editing video in a video editing package. But the most common format and the one you would probably want to use for Cubase is the .mov format. This is a basic QuickTime movie with all the correct codecs and settings that you need to import into Cubase. You might also get QT files, which are QuickTime movies, but only as used on the Windows platform. And QT files should work in Cubase on Windows as well. MPEG-1 and 2 files may work. It depends on the exact format. MPEG-4 files are based on the QuickTime movie standard and can contain various metadata for streaming and editing and they have the mp4 or m4v suffix. AVI files, which you may be familiar with if you're on Windows, are again a Microsoft created container for different video and audio streams, and you will need to convert AVI files before bringing them into Cubase. There's also such thing as a DV file, which is a format that used to be used quite heavily by camcorders. These days, a lot of consumer and even professional digital video recording systems record to the mp4 format, sometimes in extremely high quality, sometimes not so high. One thing that you'll have to make sure of is that your computer contains the codecs to decode this stuff. And the best way to go about that is really just to install QuickTime. If you're on a Mac, you'll have it already. If you're on Windows, you may have it, or it's a free download from the Apple website. The thing to take away from this really is, if Cubase is going to let you import a video file, you'll be fine. It should appear. If it doesn't like it, then it probably won't let you import it and it will tell you it can't play it back. So then you'll have to go away and convert it using different software. Assuming that you have got the correct file type, let's have a look at the project settings as they concern video.